guys, welcome to another episode of Anna Marie TV. Um, so today, I'm gonna actually do something different. Um, just gonna finally make one of these meals from Purple Carrots. Um, I actually wanted to give them a try, did some research, and seemed like uh, I had good reviews. I had to cancel it though because the meals come like too quickly. Um, if they had like once a week, that would be good. Because I noticed that I'm too random in like what I like to eat. So, um, yeah. But I am going to make the ranchero bowl and that looks like this. So it says cooking time is 30 to 40 minutes, serves two to four people, and um, it's with cumin, roasted vegetables, and serrano yogurt. I've um, never done this one before, I've done HelloFresh before. So I'm going to read through the ingredients first to get an idea because I noticed that when I go step by step without reading the full ingredients, it takes me too much, it takes too long. And then that's what makes me not want to do these anymore because I like to like be in and out when I'm cooking. So um, let me show you the package. So mind you, I've already had this for... Uh, more than a week. I'll just put it that way. I put it in the refrigerator and so it comes in this bag it Has all the ingredients has the you know what it's there for um, Let me see I can do This there we go So it comes with the pinto beans It comes with a green, I'm sorry, that is red, clearly. Bell pepper. Comes with an onion. Comes with Spanish rice. A lime. Uh, looks like two peppers. Comes with a, I think this is a sweet potato. Um, comes with cashew yogurt and avocado and the last thing is cumin seeds so like I said I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna go ahead and read the ingredients I'll probably even prep and, and chop and then I'll come back to you guys, okay? All right, so I've gone ahead and cut up the bell peppers, sweet potatoes, onions, and the serranos. Um, it's telling me to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, this pepper is really getting to me. Um, give me just one second. Something happened. Oh my god. Hit the wrong hit the remote button on accident. So um what I was gonna say was <clears throat> it's telling me to take all this ingredients and um drizzle one or two tablespoons of olive oil, cumin seeds, and a pinch of salt and pepper and to bake them for eighteen to twenty minutes. Um so I wanted to I'll start to put it <clears throat> God, this is strong. <clears throat> I started to put it <clears throat> into this bowl to make it easier. So I'm gonna just throw everything. Mm, mm, mm. This stuff is strong. Whew. Put it in here. I'm gonna toss it in the bowl to make the coating a little easier than what they were saying by drizzling drizzling it <clears throat> or tossing it on the baking sheet Now I'm gonna put 
put it back in the oven. was that <clears throat> God, this light is bright um, but the one thing I did notice is that <clears throat> they said there was a shallot in here but it was actually a uh, red onion so as I ended up going into the refrigerator looking to see if it fell out but I just thought about it you know shallot is like this that uh, another version of an onion and, or a cross between an onion and garlic whatever I probably should have took some of this garlic <clears throat> And put it in there too, but we're gonna leave that way, leave that as is. Um, so now that leaves us with pinto beans, the yogurt, the avocado, and the um, lime, and the Spanish rice. So I'm gonna get to going on that part and I'll be back. This reminds me of like the juices we used to have when we were kids. Was that McDonald's that used to do that? I can't remember. <clears throat> so I think when I can't think of anything to say for my chit chat with me on my on the health channel. And I'm not really feeling doing the education. I may just have to do cooking on here. So you may see a lot more of these uh, meals being done. <clears throat> so yeah, you may see a little bit more of these meals being done because I'm just coming up with content. Like I watch YouTubers all the time, so I understand when they say content is sometimes issue trying to come up with so <clears throat> yes what you may get food encouragement um, now that things are starting to open again I could go back to doing some of the fun stuff which is you know trying different um, treatments and stuff like that so I have I bought a day I did buy a Groupon for our aura reading that I need to call and see their um, time slots so that <clears throat> me and Angelica go, can go um, so she says she does want to go together so I'll have to look for two slots hopefully they have two therapists I don't know if it's one on one or not but it'll be a cool thing to experience and show you guys um, I saw a I'm hot, it's hot out here um, I saw a um, hydration place, basically IV therapy, um, that popped up down the way, so I may go try that out, because why not, it's something uh, new for me, and then 
oh sound baths i want to experience sound baths so i know of a place so um you may see that coming up soon as well is there, if there's anything else uh body work wise that you'd like to see on the channel let me know i'm for the most part up for trying out different um different modalities and whatnot so it really just comes down to the facility the practitioner uh how um, comfortable they are so if you know if you go someone and you think that they're awesome and they're open to um share their gift online let me know and um i would love to uh contact them to be able to do that so while um the rice is cooking the things are in the oven i'm gonna sit down and uh, relax until time to put it all together so what i decided to do because it said i have four minutes left on my timer and it said to mix the beans in with the rice and the beans you know to me that doesn't make sense because okay there's a timer for that um oh <clears throat> hey google stop timer so i wanted I to need a timer is that right mix it in and let it heat up together since it was only four minutes left so the rice definitely needs more time so i'm gonna put a little bit more water and then um that's what we're looking at that way the beans can get warmed up too Alright guys, so I told you I would come back. So roasted potatoes are done. Beans and rice are done. I made my own guacamole and then there's the yogurt sauce. So I'm going to go ahead and make a bowl. Now most people know I don't like guacamole something was like you know what just try making it yourself to see if you like it um, and because my girlfriend made it once and I liked hers and I really see what what it was that I liked about hers that's kind of what I did which I burnt a little bit of the onions I had turned the timer went off I had it turn off but I didn't take it out the oven so that was a fail so this is the wrench harrow bowl get a dollop of the avocado it's basically an avocado dressing <laughs> <laughs> actually I could just drizzle this on here and this is the yogurt based with the serrano pepper okay come on out there we go the serrano pepper yogurt sauce anyway not as pretty as it should be This is the bowl and it's definitely different from the picture <laughs> this is the picture and this is my bowl so it's kind of the same but different <sighs> so 
So I'm going to put this stuff away and have a taste. All right, so I'm going to just take a bite of, um, oh, where's the freaking thing? There it is. I'll take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. So, the serranos are spicy, but I can still taste the charness of them because I overcooked them. But if I wouldn't have overcooked them, <laughs> they would be, bring out a bit a better flavor than what's going on right now. So, I'm going to enjoy. And that is going to be my cooking, end of my cooking session. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.